I'm Kim Orleski. I'm the president of KO Advantage Group. We're one of the fastest growing sales training companies available to help teach non-sales people how to sell. And we work primarily with entrepreneurs and business owners that are selling the invisible, the non-tangibles for premium prices. I've been in business for approximately four years. Uh, through iterations of sales and through entrepreneurship, the things we start off with are not necessarily the things that we end up with. And over time, I finally came to the realization that sales was my mastery. And not just any type of sales, but helping to understand the sales process. After my son was born, I incorporated KO Advantage Group in November 2017, where now we've really started to harness what it means to understand sales as an entire circle, as a formula, and we love being able to teach that. We want to work with as many entrepreneurs to help them grow their revenue, be able to capture that premium dollar, and be able to connect with their clients on a deeper level. Kim and I originally met at American Express, so I've seen her in action in a B2B corporate sales high value services environment. Everything she trains, she truly, truly has done in her career, and uh, she's the real deal. One of the reasons why I built KO Sales U the way I did, 90 minute modules over 10 weeks, was because I didn't believe in the way sales was being taught currently. It's still a three day sequestered boardroom experience. And we decided to teach it to entrepreneurs, business owners, essentially people that don't see themselves as sales people. We're not full time students anymore. When we were in elementary and primary school, university, we were taught that way because the intention of it was to binge and purge information, take it all in, purge it out, get really well on the test, move on. But we're talking about the lifeblood of your organization. This is not something that we just want to know that you know. This is something that needs to be habitual inside your organization. So we developed the program over this long period of time and we started to see habits changed, new habits created. And with the web series, number one, I want to show that sales is a journey. Sales is not something that you can read a book and become an expert at. We're not that way when we talk about engineering. We're not that way when we talk about how to lose weight or how to become a doctor. I mean, you can read all of that. You can know in theory how to do it. But this is an action. This is about creating more with the people around us. And the web series, I wanted to capture that. I wanted people to see that sales is messy. Sales is hard. Having the conversation where you are picking up the phone with somebody for the very first time is, it's so nervous. And I, I mean, even the best of us, I get nervous from time to time when I have those phone calls. And it's a skill and it's something that we practice. And I wanted people to see that skills at the beginning are really awkward and hard. And at the end, they're beautiful and they make sense. And I wanted the viewer to go on that journey with the participants to understand what that felt like to learn this new skill set and ultimately feel that this is something that I could do too. One of the moments I saw Kim shine was when a graduate came up to the office to pick up his certificate and he hugged Kim and told Kim, thank you for this amazing opportunity. I closed the biggest deal ever. The joy and happiness on Kim's face just made me burst in tears. And he cried too. We have delivered KO Sales U several times. And as we go through this journey, this 10 week process, we come back to people who ultimately tell us the one thing that they didn't anticipate that they grew the most with was that they felt the conversations they were having with their customers, with their colleagues, with some of even their personal relationships were deeper than they had ever been before. And the reality is, is that we start to teach people really good listening skills and how to ask better questions. And most people feel easier to ask those questions to their significant others, to their friends. And when they start to introduce questions like, and how do you feel about that? The moment that gets down deeper into these levels, and when you start to ask that with your clients, imagine having your client feel like, you get me 
before we ever get to a point of talking about contracts and payments. And when I started to ask myself if I had a story to tell, what was my story, I realized it had nothing to do with me. It had to do with all of these companies, all of these business owners that were on this journey of going at the conversations where I need to get this to how do we incorporate this? How do we collaborate? How do we create something so much more holistic than the service offering that we're creating? And when I wanted to share a story, I decided that those people, the participants, the companies, the entrepreneurs, that was the story I wanted to tell. I wanted to tell how we create deeper connections with so many people that surround us. And sales is the catalyst that does that. Continue to follow us on social media. I look forward to seeing you on every episode. And don't forget to check out our website for even more information or how to become your own sales knockout.